O chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome, everyone. We are glad that you are able to join us this morning. It is uh, uh, Saturday after the sixth Sunday of Easter. Tomorrow we will be uh, celebrating the ascension of our Lord into heaven. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to to Almighty God God and to you, my brothers brothers and sisters, sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my my most recent fault. fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. Constantly shape our minds, we pray, O Lord, by the practice of good works, that, trying always for what is better, we may strive to hold ever fast to the Paschal mystery. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After staying in Antioch some time, Paul left and traveled in orderly sequence through the Galatian country and Phrygia, bringing strength to all the disciples. A Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria, an eloquent speaker, arrived in Ephesus. He was an authority on the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord and, with ardent spirit, spoke and taught accurately about Jesus, although he knew only the baptism of John. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue, but when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him aside and explained to him the way of God more accurately. And when he wanted to cross Achaia, the brothers encouraged him and wrote to the disciples there to welcome him. After his arrival, he gave great assistance to those who had come to believe through grace. He vigorously refuted the Jews in public, establishing from the scriptures that the Christ is Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. God is king of all the earth. God God is is king king of all the the earth. All you peoples, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness, for the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God God is is King king of all the the earth. earth. For King of all the earth is God. Sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon his holy throne. God God is is King of all all the earth. The princes of the peoples are gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham. For gods are the guardians of the earth. He is supreme. God God is is king of all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now you have not asked anything in my name. Ask, and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. I have told you this in figures of speech. 
The hour is coming when I no longer will speak to you in figures, but I will tell you clearly about the Father. On that day you will ask in my name, and I do not tell you that I will not I do not tell you that I will ask the Father for you, for the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me and have come to believe that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. What a fitting reading here from St. John as we, at least in this part of the world, uh, will, or the, the country too, will be celebrating the Ascension uh, tomorrow. Jesus going, rising into heaven after 40 days, 40 days after the resurrection, or I guess it'd be 43 days if you celebrate it on Sunday, but the point is still, uh, we've been hearing these last 40 days or so, you know, every so often certain excerpts from uh, the time of Jesus um, after, after the resurrection, but before the ascension, ending with what we just heard now, him preparing uh, his disciples and trying to give them assurance because certainly they were afraid. Well, what is going to happen? We've had this man with us and now he is going to leave. And Jesus says very clearly, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. And so he reminds them, as he's reminding us, of the importance of prayer, the importance of faith, the importance of, of trust. And it's understandable how the, the apostles, the disciples, would have been afraid, they would have been fearful. A lot of the unknown, well, Jesus is leaving, what are we going to do? And indeed, it was difficult for them, they had difficult times, but to be able to go back to Jesus' words, many that they had committed to memory, that would have gotten them through the, the difficult times. So yeah, remember Jesus said, ask anything, whatever you ask my Father, uh, the Father in my name, he will give you. Or maybe it's time to go back to prayer. And so that's a reminder for us. But I'd also like to talk about the, what we heard in the Acts of the Apostles. Here we have this very intelligent man named Apollos, who was a Jew. We heard that he was eloquent, very knowledgeable in many things, but he was lacking something. His knowledge was not complete. I guess as our knowledge isn't complete because he only knew the baptism of John. That's what he was limited to. And so he, he, it was incomplete. So for all of his eloquence and all of his, uh, the, the, the truth that he spoke, he wasn't going far enough. In fact, he may have gone, you know, he may have strayed because of his, again, the, this lack of completeness. And so what do we hear? That uh, this couple, Aquila and Priscilla, go, they took him aside to explain to him the way of God more accurately. Isn't that just a beautiful nuanced way? Uh, you know, they kindly took him aside. I'm sure they did and said, you know, Apollos, Boy, you, I really love what you have to say, but I'm not sure if you've heard, you, did, you know, about the, the baptism, about Jesus' baptism. Did you hear? Are you aware of uh, maybe all the things that Jesus said? And so they were able to gently bring him back. So we have these people who have the courage to say something. Uh, they did this in a charitable way, it, it certainly seems. And we also have Apollos who is willing to listen not to take offense, oh, how, you know, don't tell me what to say. You know, no, they, he was open. And so what well, we can learn from this uh, already that uh, just because Apollos was a, uh, a smart man, it's very good that he was able to recognize that he did not know everything. These other people had something to offer and that in his humility, he would do well to listen. And so he did and he was able to uh, go even further as a result of his listening to Priscilla and Aquila and the fact that they even went to him to begin with shows his great love for the faith 
his care for the truth, the desire that the truth uh, be safeguarded and, and spread accurately. So as we pr prepare these last several hours before the ascension of our Lord, uh, let us trust in his words, let us go to him regularly, and let us take the example of, of Apollos, his openness to listen, Priscilla and Aquila to not be afraid to say things that need to be said, of course, always in a charitable way. Dear friends, Jesus told his disciples that whatever they ask the Father in his name will be given. Knowing this, we have the confidence to bring him our needs. For those discerning a vocation in the church, may God grant them wisdom and understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. <clears throat> For governments and political leaders, may the Holy Spirit lead them in service of their communities, countries, and world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are grieving the loss of a loved one, may the joy and hope of the resurrection bring them solace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the newly baptized in our community, May the Holy Spirit continue to bring them ever closer to God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For their faithful departed, may they enjoy eternity in heaven with the risen Christ. Let us pray to, to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And special intention of this Mass for Joseph Winding, Bartholomew, Maria, Anna, and Yusia, and for Corey, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. And for the intentions you hold in the silence of your hearts, and for continued perseverance for all of us during this strange time, and for blessings and safety on all during this Memorial Weekend, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father of love and mercy, we ask you to look kindly upon these prayers, which we ask in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice of our hands, hands for, the praise for the praise and glory of his name, name, for our good and good of all his holy church. church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world by dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts 
sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You're able. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis or Pope and Kevin or Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brother and sister who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome to the end of the light of your face. I miss you and us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, I may it to acquire to eternal life in my prize in glorifying you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive, and forgive us our trespasses, our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, who trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are your, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. peace. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should enter, enter under my roof, roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be you. invited now to say the spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The communion antiphon, Father, I wish that where I am, those you gave me may also be with me, that they may see the glory that you gave me. Alleluia. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of, these, of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Good morning. I'm very excited, as is Monsignor and our priests and our deacons and those who know, that this weekend, starting today and tomorrow, we will have our first public liturgy here at St. Polycarp in the parking lot. If you saw my video reflection yesterday, which I'm sure all of you have, you'll hear and see uh, what I'm talking about tomorrow, today rather, today being the 23rd of May, uh, we will have our first adoration, public adoration, out in the parking lot uh, beginning at 4 p.m. and it'll last for an hour. And I will be out there and a few of the deacons will be with me and we'll have lots of uh, event staff, traffic control people who will guide people into the main parking lot because there'll be designated parking that you must follow the instructions of the, of the uh, traffic control people. People can start coming at 3.30. The gates will be closed until then. That's the entrance of St. Polycarp. But then from there, uh, you'll be given a sheet on adoration and what it means and what you can do during adoration, a little helpful spiritual guideline. And also an envelope, something that you could put a goodwill offering inside of, and also write on the envelope some names uh, that people that you know and love could be prayed for because those envelopes will be placed on our altar as well, but also a goodwill offering in the envelope, and that'll be picked up as you exit with an usher with the... Um, collection basket uh, for the help of St. Polycarp. So that is today uh, from 4 to 5. Uh, take a look at the video. It uh, tells more. Tomorrow is another wonderful day. It is the Ascension. And do you remember when we had said that uh, we were going to give out palms someday soon? Well, that day is tomorrow. Palm Sunday was several weeks ago. Palms were blessed. We've kept them fresh in our refrigerators and our kitchen. And we're going to distribute those tomorrow uh, between 1 and 3 in the afternoon. A drive through no one gets out of cars. It's going to be very, very systematic and easy with a blessing and a handing of the palm and also a goodwill offering as you exit. So this is very exciting. And uh, on behalf of the priest and Monsignor here and the bishop in the state of California, this is something that has been approved to do very safely. So thank you. Okay. Let us say our prayer to St. Michael now. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. 
May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And just a perhaps clarification that we still will have adoration in the church at 3.30, not for the public, but to be, to be uh, live streamed. So those for whom it will be too difficult to, to come for the parking lot adoration, please join us mm -hmm. as always at 3.30. And remember the Mass is tomorrow, 9 o'clock in English, 10 o'clock in Spanish, 11 o'clock in Vietnamese. And as much as we like Father Tuan, Tomorrow in Vietnamese, we have a special guest, we have Duke Cha, uh, Bishop uh, Tan Tai Nguyen. So we had a, even have a bishop here tomorrow. So anyhow, we think the viewership will go way up. And as Father Michael's video from yesterday, we understand is going viral, maybe the mass uh, will go viral too, I don't know. We wish you a very blessed day and, and a safe uh, time and, and a, a safe weekend. Mm -hmm. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.